Okay, so in order to have absolutely zero stats when we start the game, I've had to take these four negative traits. Those traits being unfit, weak, underweight, and deprived. This means we will spawn in with absolutely no items on us and we will have no uh, stats at all. Like we'll start in completely blank on a clean slate. Okay, here is our protagonist of the video, four name surname, uh, with absolutely zero stats whatsoever. Now we are going into this game uh, unfit, underweight, deprived, we're flimsy, we're weak, we're a light eater, we've got low thirst, we're prone to illness, wakeful, and underweight. Now I only picked a few of these stats just so we would get zero stats overall, uh, just to make this all that little bit extra, you know, harder for us. Not that I'm gonna need that because I'm pretty terrible at this game. And, oh fuck, uh, we are spawning in Louisville. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Okay. Chef knife, okay, equip primary. Sneakers, where? Oh god, okay, okay, we'll take the sneakers after. Right, wear the watch, and wear the... No, 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 okay. Quick, 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 quick. Put these shoes on. Okay, cool. There is a key we can take here. Another chef knife, we can put that secondary. Okay, cool. Okay, we need to immediately get ourselves over to one of these houses. This, I'm probably going to regret this. Oh, thank God I didn't cut myself. Now. Oh my God, yes, we're not hurt. Oh, hello, you're alive. Right, let's just get ourselves into one of these houses. Right, let's get life and living on so we can catch the midday carpentry show. Uh, these shows are going to be integral for us getting uh, our skills up. Let's just read this magazine straight away as well. How to use generators magazine. Perfect. Carbonated water. Cool. Let's drink all of that and then we'll fill up the bottle. Cool. Let's sit down and enjoy this. Let's read all of our magazines as well. And the first of our stats has been unlocked. Carpentry level one. Ooh, bourbon. We'll take both of them. Ooh, crowbar. Now, I'm going to take the... I've just taken a screwdriver, because basically if we find any watches, we can just assemble them and get our electricity skill up. Ooh, a freedom gas mask. Okay. Uh, we'll wear the windbreaker vest as well. Nice. Looking very funky. Let's eat some parmesan cheese. Let's try and, uh, you know, fatten ourselves up a little bit. Oh, my fucking God. Oh my god, we're so pathetic. Seriously. Oh, that's embarrassing. Ah. Oh my god, we have found a shotgun. I really want that, but we just we just can't take that. Uh, some bandages. I mean, we just are going to need them. Ooh, moly the mole. We'll take you. Right, we're just going to power through all of these magazines. Catch the next live and living show and then head upstairs to bed. Come on, Dean. What are you going to teach us today? Mm, Dean's teaching us how to fish today. And there we go, fishing level one. Right, put the shotgun back in the bag. I'm just going to try and take these for now, and then hopefully we can find a car and we can just stick it in there. Okay, hopefully we can get a key to this truck. All right, come here. A farming magazine and uh, ooh, an athletic sprinting book, as well as a Before the Pipelines magazine. Okay, let's just read one of these straight away so we can drop it. Oh, an M14. Oh, ah, fuck. Um, oh, I want that. We, we're just too weak at the moment to carry guns, but I am going to make a note on our map just so that we know the guns are here. There we go. Ooh, DIY crafting for idiots. I will take that. Crash helmet, okay, we'll wear that. Right, we're just gonna take some time to read and then we're gonna get ourselves to bed. Right, let's get ourselves straight to bed. Okay, we've woken up at half one in the morning. Uh, that's not too great. Okay, in order to try and gain some weight, I think we're just gonna drink this entire pot of soup. You know, this should help us uh, fatten up a little bit. There we go. If we drink that soup, we get thick. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Right, get up now. Okay, we are injured. Uh, okay, disinfect your arm. Oh, that is far too many for us to try and take on. Come on, jump the wall. Yes, well done. Well done. Okay, we have done really well to avoid them there. Oh, fuck. Oh. Right, get up. Now. Oh, 
thank God. Oh my God, there's more. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. There are some beta blockers. We are going to grab them. Oh my God, will you just fuck off, please? Okay, let's let's just move on. Ooh, 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 ooh. I would quite like it if this car's open. Okay, cool. Fucking hell. Okay, can we just jump this wall? Go to the next place? Oh, you pathetic man. <laughs> Pry the window open. Come on. Jesus fuck. Fucking Christ, man. Right, let's just check on our bandage. The one positive to getting a scratch this early on is it means we can actually work on our first aid skills by treating it. Right, we have managed to recover. So let's try and sneak back out. I've got a feeling we're probably just gonna end up fighting more zombies pretty much immediately. Close the curtains. It is bang on six o'clock, which means we can catch the cook show as well. We have already gone up one level in cooking as well. Okay, make that two levels in cooking. We're flying up. Oh my god, we found yet another shotgun. Um, like the last one, we are just going to have to make a note on the map. Shotgun and nice car. There we go. And draw a little car. Not the best drawing ever. Okay, we are still losing weight, so I'm just going to stuff our face with some really fatty things like this miso paste and some processed cheese. Before we go anywhere, I'm just gonna spam read through all of the dance magazines, just so we're not carrying them, as well as the other small magazines as well. If you're wondering uh, why I keep reading all these dance magazines, I mean, just look at this fella. Look how happy he is. You tell me it's not a good idea to read some dance magazines and learn these sick moves. Now, we do need a car, so I say we try and take on these zombies over here, and then we'll check out the van. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to come to me. I want to save my energy. Ooh, we have found a wagon key. Oh, for f fuck's sake. Okay. We're not, we're not bit at least. All right, come here. All right, is it this that we've got the key to? Hopefully we can just get inside one of these houses. Yes, we can. There we go. Now, please jump this fence. Mate, I... You have to jump this fence. We're dead. We are so dead. Right. We're going to have to just sit on the ground, rest until they get to that back door, and then try and take them on. Okay. Right. We seem to have recovered. Oh, you piece of shit. Right. Sit on the ground. You are not tired anymore. Jump the fence. I, I actually hate him. I hate him so much. Oh, you fucking bastard. I've got to take the risk, and I've got to try and put life and living on. This feels so risky, staying in the house and trying to catch life and living. Uh, I just really want to help get our skills up as much as possible. Okay, we are carpentry level two. Oh, okay, okay. Don't notice me, please. Can we take you? I don't think we can, but we're going to try. No, that was a stupid idea. Okay, we're now back in this situation. Okay, 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 please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. I just need to have fuel in it. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Oh, that is a survivor house. I'd love to stop, but don't really have time, I'm afraid. Okay, no. I'm going to go somewhere a bit more secluded. Ooh. Okay. This is looking pretty kitted out. There's loads of cars available. Okay, how many zombies are coming towards us hopefully just this one over here this looks like a very nice spot for us to stay oh there's no tv here that's not what we needed we really needed a tv oh, we are feeling sick oh shit please don't die uh, we are going to disassemble every digital watch that we find just to get our electrical skill up. Now, I'm probably going to do this off camera because it is quite boring for you guys to watch. I am hearing a zombie nearby, so we need to be careful. Ooh, hello. Uh, there is a radio here that we can disassemble as well. That'll be handy. We are looking really sick. Um, that's quite worrying. And we're going to take some more vitamins. Just sit down for a moment. Let's have a look at ourselves. Right, we need to change our bandages. It's infected. 
Okay, use the bottle of disinfectant and let's see if we can undo the damage. We're just going to spend the evening reading absolutely every magazine and book that we have available. Now, looking at our stats, our fitness and strength seems to be the biggest issue at the moment. We are just not strong enough to take on the zombies. We're very slow. They're getting hold of us too easily and they're scratching us too easily. So we need to spend a little bit of time doing some exercise. So I'm going to start today by doing 60 minutes of burpees. Ah, oh, poor four name. We've got a long way to go with you, mate. A long way to go. Before bed, I might just take some time to clean ourselves up a little bit. Right, okay, so we're gonna clean all of our bandages. We're gonna wash all of our clothing, and then we're gonna wash ourselves. We're a dirty, dirty, dirty boy, and we need to get clean. Right, we are looking considerably better now, so let's get ourselves to bed. You know what, we've slept until a good time, and we actually look like we've recovered. I mean, we need to sort out these uh, these bandages. Okay, we're still scratched. We're no longer infected though on a hand. That is very good news. Oh, perfect. One of our injuries has already uh, gotten better. Uh, now, we need to gain some weight. So we're going to eat all of this marmalade and all of this sugar. Now, I think we need to check out this local area where we find ourselves. We are now on the outskirts of Louisville. Um, I'm not really too bothered about rushing straight back into Louisville just now. I think we fortify this base a little bit, get comfortable, build up our skills a little bit. I mean, we might have to pop into town to try and get a TV. I think that would be sensible just because that would be really good for us building up our stats. Uh, if not, we're going to have to do things the old-fashioned way with our bare hands. I am very happy with the mixture of cars that we have available as well. That does give us plenty of options with training our mechanic skill. There is a very decent amount of supplies in here as well. Ooh, okay. There are some seeds here as well. I would be quite... Uh, interested in setting up a farm straight away. Okay, we're gonna take some time just to check out all of these vehicles. Right, we're just gonna train our mechanics really quick. Okay, we haven't read a mechanics book, so I feel like this might not be worth it at the moment. Okay, so we could actually do with finding a mechanics book then. Oh, don't tell me they're all gonna be locked. I don't wanna have to break all of these. Okay, let's train the mechanics on this car now as well. Yeah, we really need to try and find a mechanics book. Finally, we are gonna train our mechanic skill on our Land Rover as well. Okay, right, I think we'll go check out the neighbor house whilst we're here as well hopefully the neighbors will have a tv there is a tv here now we'll just switch it on for now i'm hoping to find a better tv but we may end up taking that hello stocking suspender belt yeah why not may as well a hammer We'll happily take that. Okay, we're going to dismantle the radio as well. Again, I'm going to keep this off camera. Right, we're just going to sit down in front of the TV because it is nearly the carpentry show time and we're just going to read this first aid magazine whilst we do so. Uh, we didn't quite reach uh, level three carpentry from that, which is a bit annoying, but uh, we'll be fine. Oh my God, yes, there's a survivor house. That is exactly what we needed. Well, maybe not exactly what we needed because we can't carry any good weapons at the moment, but you know... real question is how's this truck looking oh oh this is a game changer this oh it's in better condition than our land rover okay we're changing vehicle we are gonna have to check out this survivor house oh hello oh that's a lot of uh fud Good fud. Jesus Christ, look at all the weapons. We can have enough space in the back of the truck. I don't know if we are. I guess we're just going to see how many weapons we can fit in our bag straight away. We've got a sharpened stop sign. I can't wait until we're a bit stronger and we can actually start using these weapons. I'm hoping in these final two houses, we manage to find a TV with a VHS, but you know, if we don't, we'll just take one of the TVs from one of these houses. Oh, fuck. Uh, leather jacket. That is better than what we've got, so we're going to take that. Right, we're going to pick up this broken glass just because there is a little strap that we can do to get our uh, healing up later on. We're bleeding. Oh, it's because I picked up the fucking broken glass. Okay, fair enough. That was just stupid of me. Okay, I'm not wearing any gloves. I didn't think about that. Right, um, before we check out that last house, let's catch the next Life and Living show. And I might even just take the TV because I feel like we're not going to find a better one. Come on, Dean, what are you going to teach us today? Okay, Dean's going to teach us how to fish. 
Thanks to good old Dean, we're now level two in fishing. Okay, thanks Dean. All right, can we pick up this TV or are we gonna be too weak? Okay, we can pick up the TV. Cool, let's go lob this in the back. Even if we find a better TV, I mean, yeah, there's no harm having two TVs. Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Antique television, put it straight in the back. <gasps> Literally the last house. We find a better TV. Now, all this bourbon and chips, we're gonna take all of those. More bourbon, oh my God, we're gonna have a party. Foraging, we'll take you. Tailoring book as well. We're just gonna dismantle the other television that we picked up, just cause it will give us some good stuff. Right, let's go grab that TV that we found. What a successful day this has been. Right, I think immediately, all I'm gonna take into the house tonight is gonna be sort of the food that can go out of date. So stuff that we need to put in the fridge pretty much immediately. And I think I will also take the TV in straight away. There we go. We've actually got the TV. For some reason, I couldn't unpack it from my backpack, which was strange. Okay, we are absolutely battered. So let's just go straight to bed. We've had a bit of a line today. We've woken up at eight o'clock. I think today I'm just going to take some time to exercise and then rest. Make sure we catch all of the Life in Living channels. We have missed the first one, but we'll be fine. We're gonna start with an hour of burpees. Got like an absolute psychopath just sat to ourselves in this room doing nothing. So we're gonna do an hour of burpees and the carpentry show should start in the background whilst we do so. Perfect, we've managed to finish that just in time to catch the uh, carpentry show. Uh, again, we for some reason don't wanna look directly at the TV show, we just want to sit in the room and listen to it. And would you look at that, we're level three carpentry. Okay, instead of doing burpees this time, we are actually gonna get up and we are gonna focus on our sprinting. Uh, it's something that we desperately are gonna need to work on because we are in horrendous shape. So we're gonna go on a nice, a nice long run around the gorgeous fields. To be fair, maybe we can just do uh, laps around the house for now. Okay, we've done one lap and we're already starting to get tired. This guy has the fitness that I do. This, I would be out of breath after one lap of this house. He kind of runs like an arthritic old man. Like that form is absolutely horrific. God, I can't be arsed going for a run in real life, but I will sit here for ages with my virtual character making him go for a run and build up his fitness. I feel like I need to kind of sort my own life priorities out a little bit here. I'm determined to get to level one sprinting before we hit high exertion. Okay, and we've hit high exertion and we still haven't got level one sprinting. God, we don't move much faster when we're walking than when we're fucking running when you fast forward he kind of looks like quagmire from family guy with his head shaking forward like giggy 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 giggy. come on can we get to level one before 6 p.m when the next show's on place your bets in the comments now don't cheat yes we've hit level one sprinting well done four name we are just going to keep sprinting until the 6 p.m mark and then we'll go watch the next Life and Living show. I wonder what Dean's going to teach us today on Exposure Survival. Come on, Dean. What have you got for me today? Okay, I think Dean's teaching me how to make fire. Right, okay. We can fit in one last workout before bed. Last burpee session before bed. We're going to make you a machine for name. A machine, you hear me? And we have hit level one fitness. We are really making moves now. Off to bed we go, mister. We've had a very productive day. Right, we're gonna go to bed at 10 o'clock. God, we are in extreme pain as we're waking up. Extreme pain from all that exercise. I do apologize for name. I feel like I've kind of put you through hell. <laughs> Sorry, dude. God, all that exercise fatigue. Um, now I know this is boring, but uh, we're on day five and obviously the helicopter event will be coming up soon. And for me, with these sort of fitness stats, I would not feel comfortable taking on a large amount of zombies. So I think today we're going to keep grinding out exercise just the same as we've done yesterday. So we're starting with a morning run this time. Again, our form is absolutely horrendous. Look at those knees shaking. There we go. It is 11.30, so the carpentry show will be coming up soon. We are gonna just plant ourselves in front of the TV, ready to watch it, and we're gonna do an hour of push-ups. Could you imagine just doing sit-ups for an hour? Like, I'm, I'm starting to feel sorry for Forname. That's so cruel. <laughs> All right, okay, uh, Dean is back, and this time we are gonna worship Dean by sitting in front of him. We are just gonna stare Dean in the eyes whilst we squat. 
whilst our legs shake and whilst our forging skill seems to go up as well. Oh, we've just passed out on the settee. Jesus Christ, we've woken up at half one the next day. Maybe I need to look after him a little bit more. So by saying that, we're going to start the day with an hour of burpees. That's what you get for passing out. I'm making you do a third day of exercise because you've missed the carpentry show. Go on, teabag the floor, teabag the floor. I'm going to do an hour of push-ups and then the exposure survival show should start. So long as we don't pass out again. Okay, this is going to help teach us trapping. Excellent. And we are up to trapping level one. Okay, let's make that trapping level two, actually. Right, before we go to bed tonight, we're going to do an hour of sit-ups and then hopefully not pass out on the settee and actually go upstairs. Okay, we've woken up at 20 past three. That's not ideal at all. We are officially on day seven now. Uh, I will start the morning just by doing an hour of squats, but I promise this is gonna stop soon. Right, I think today I would quite like to organize all the loot we have in the back of our truck. Um, there is obviously, oh, there's a lot of it here. Tell you what, we're gonna use this room for putting the weapons. Okay, so I've gathered up all of our supplies in the kitchen. I've put all of our weapons in this room here. And we've put Molly the Mole on his own little chair here. Now, I think it's time that we sit down and we read a few books. We're going to read Foraging and we're going to read Tailoring. And we should be able to catch the Carpentry Show as well. Ah, uh, right. We didn't manage to level up again from uh, Woodcraft, unfortunately. We have got nails here. Okay, I'm going to grab the hand axe that we found. And I think we're going to cut down some... Actually, we'll use the normal axe. We'll equip that in both hands. Okay. We can hear the helicopter now. Let's uh, just drop these logs. <laughs> drop the logs, get it? Well, it looks like Molly's been uh, helping himself to the cans. Right, let's just go and hide upstairs. Okay, I think before we get any rest, let's just do like an hour of uh, push-ups. We are absolutely battered, so let's just get ourselves to bed. Okay, we have woken up at bang on six. Hopefully we can catch some more TV. Yes. Oh, perfect. We've managed to level up in cooking straight away. Now that the helicopter event has passed, I think it's time that we actually push out and do a little bit more. Um, I'm pretty sure the Life and Living shows pretty much stop after the first week normally anyway. So uh, we will get ourselves outside and start exploring again. Right, let's have a quick look. Are there any zombies nearby? Okay. I think we've done pretty well here. One of the zombies has come to say hello to us. Uh, we will take one of these saws. Ooh, some nails as well. We'll take all of these. Okay, we have gone up one level with the axe. We're going to saw all ten of these logs, and I think we're going to try and board at the windows of the house. 30 planks, Christ. Right, let's start barricading some of these windows. Oh, let's take you out, mate. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, let me just see if there's any more carpentry shows for us. Oh, I don't think this is the carpentry show. Nope, it's something else. Um, I think I'm also going to barricade the back door. All right, we're starting to look pretty secure and good here. And there we go. We've made a quick note of this. This is officially our home now, just outside of Louisville. This does give, give us a nice little bit of space just for sort of darting in and out now. I would be quite interested, rather than pushing straight back into Louisville, maybe we look at these smaller areas and just sort of loot what we can around here. I think that would be a lot smarter than pushing straight back into the incredibly busy city. That's something that we can deal with much further down the line. Right, we're going to go explore a little bit of the nearby area, I think. Ooh! What have you got? Boots take your boots. Headhunter backpack. Headhunter gas mask. We're gonna eat all of this butter. Ooh, we're looking a bit scary. Whoa! Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we're not taking them on. No, thank you. Just quickly, quick, quick, quick. Anything good in here? No, fucking useless. I heard the Woodcraft theme coming from this room. Don't tell me I've missed Woodcraft. All right, let's go to bed. Right, so I'm thinking for today, maybe we just sort of venture into this neighbourhood. I don't want to take on anything too big, just because, I mean, it be, wouldn't be very wise. Oh, actually, hold on. 
Okay, so I'm thinking for today we're going to push further down and we're going to start exploring some of these other areas. Uh, do we check out this area maybe? Yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to go check out this little bit down here and then these housing area nearby. Ooh. Ooh, this is a military checkpoint. Okay, let's take this generator. Right, hopefully we can find some cool stuff around here. Ooh, yes please. An open balaclava. Canvas military boots, okay. We've got a military helmet. For some reason, just wearing a balaclava is better than the gas mask, so we'll stick with that. Oh! Now, there is a ton of ammo here. We are going to take all of this. Plenty of ammo. Now, at some point, we do need to go and pick up those guns that we left at a previous location. All right, we'll load up all the ammo in the back of the car. Military vest. We'll take this M16 uh, magazine. Hopefully, we can find an M16. Oh, we'll try this vest on. Oh, my God, we are looking kitted out. Some combat pants. We'll wear those. There's no weapons here. Let me just explore a little bit more of this area just to see if we can find it. I'm pretty certain there is another bit down here somewhere. Oh my god, the lag is so bad. Oh shit. I'm just trying to kill whatever I can with the car. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go. Surely there are some weapons here. Ooh. We have found three M14s. We're going to take all of them. Yes, 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 yes. We are getting so much stronger. Right, open up the back. Just get everything in it. Get the M14s in. God, I can't wait until we're actually strong enough to hold an ammo and a gun. <laughs> we're still overly encumbered. I think that's because we need to eat, so... Let me hop in here. I'm just going to eat whatever I've got on us. I think we've got some crisps. Yeah, we'll eat those. Right, hopefully this is the only one nearby. I really want to get one of these lockers, but we're probably going to have to come back for one of these. Oh my god, there is so much ammo. Jesus Christ, there is so much ammo. Just take everything that we can. All right, uh, we are absolutely kitted out with ammo. All right, we'll, keep, we'll just unload all of this ammo, and we will uh, move back probably to the base. Jesus Christ, we have 27 boxes of 308 rounds and 29 boxes of shotgun shells. Jesus. Okay, we've managed to find a raincoat. Okay, I think we've explored as much of this as I wanted to. I was expecting more houses to be around here. I didn't realise it was all going to be burnt down. So maybe we push down to this sort of area here. All right, let me just see. Can I take one of these storage things for weapons? I'd like to have something that stands out a little bit. Okay, we can't push down south just yet. So we are going to push back to the base a little bit, mainly because we are tired. Oh shit, oh, I've just absolutely battered our truck doing that. Ah, oh, fuck. We're gonna have to get a new car. Uh, oh fuck, we've got a fracture to our arm. Oh shit. Oh fuck, we need to make a splint. Right, to make a splint, we need to just drop everything. Uh, we're gonna need a straight wooden stick and some ripped bandages. Oh fuck, who are you? Go away. Okay, you're taken care of. Now, I did chop down some trees earlier. So, I think there's some here. Let's just take... Fuck. Um, let's rip some of your clothes. Um, rip clothing. Lip, rip one. Uh, I'll just grab all this. Okay, cool. We are... We do have a splint. Uh, okay, so we're not in the best of shape now. Thanks to my expert driving. Alright, let's just enjoy some TV and then we're gonna rest. Oh, I forgot there's an electronics magazine here. Let's just grab that. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna read it. Alright, sit down. Just read this magazine for a bit. Just relax. Um, do we have any painkillers on us? Yes, we do. Let's just take some painkillers. Now, I don't really want to push my luck. I mean, can I do any exercise? I guess I should be able to do lunges. Not lunges. I should be able to do squats, I imagine. So let's get into here. Let's do, yeah, let's just do an hour of squats. Right, let's get ourselves in shape. Yeah, so we're up to level two fitness. Come on, four name, we've got this. Okay, we are pretty battered, so let's get ourselves to bed. Okay, we've woken up at 10 to 3 in the morning, and this puts us on day number 10. I think today, just whilst we're recovering from our fracture, it would make sense just to focus on exercise again. Again, I feel like maybe we'll avoid the push-ups and the burpees, so we're going to stick to squats and sit-ups. Right, back to an hour of squats. And another hour of sit-ups. Some more squats. Right, now another hour of sit-ups. Oh, and we've passed out at 4pm. Okay, we've slept for, what, like 13 hours? Uh, now we are on day 11. 
Um, we don't seem to be in too bad a shape, so I think we can push on, maybe do a little bit more. Could be pushing my luck there. We're going to eat all of this marinara for breakfast. Now, I think maybe, I mean, we shouldn't really overexert ourselves with this injury, but I think maybe we just organise our weapons. Uh, now, I guess... There we go. We're just going to put the military uh, crate in this room. Right, let's take absolutely all of the ammo that we can handle. Right, let's put all of our ammo into the military crate. Right, let's unload all of the 308 ammo into this crate as well. I think we're going to need another one maybe, so I think it could be a good idea to push back to the military stop. Right, pick up this crate. We're going to need to reorganise this a little bit. I think maybe we move one of these outside. I mean, at some point I would like to set up a farm. Um, so it could be handy just to have some easily accessible stuff out here. It would make sense to have the farm in the big field bit over there, but I don't really want to travel that far. So I'm thinking maybe just putting this box down on the porch and then we'll leave farming gear in here. And then this little section to our right is where we might eventually have like a little bit of a farm going. I think that could look quite cool. Okay, whilst we're heading, we'll take those guns as well. Right, let's just unload all of our weapons into the shelves for now. Oh, have I just broken that crate? For fuck's sake, man. Oh, that's annoying. No, 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 what are you doing? Why are you trying to go outside to place a container indoors? This fucking game sometimes. This makes... For fuck's sake! There we go, we're just going to put it out here instead. Okay, maybe we head down the highway and we check out this area once we've recovered. Right, take the generator. Okay, I'm going to set up the generator next to the house. Okay, connect the generator. We're not going to switch it on just yet, but we're going to need this when the, ba when the uh, power goes out. Okay, actually, I will just disconnect it just in case, but we've got it there in case we need it. Okay, so we've now got a generator in place for when the power goes out. Okay, let's just finish up the day with a bit more exercise. God, it is painfully slow trying to get our fitness up. This is just horrendous. Right, we are going to pop out and we are going to work on our sprinting for a little bit as well, just until we are ready to go to bed. Right, let's uh, go for a nice little run around the house before we go to bed. Okay, we are highly exerted, so I think that's enough running for us. We're going to go to bed. We are so close to sprinting level two. Let's have a nice long rest. All right, let's start the day with some painkillers. Let's just check up on our arm. I imagine it hasn't recovered, but we'll see. Okay, no, it's still fractured. And how's our hand looking? Cool, so it is now just the upper arm that's injured. Okay, there's officially no more TV for us to watch on Life and Living, so we'll just turn that off. Now, I think... We need to work on our mechanic skills, so we've got a hammer and a screwdriver. Let's just go and work on that for the day. Right, let's get checking out our truck. Um, oh god, really not in good condition. The engine is on its last legs. Uh, let's just try and train our mechanics a little bit. Okay, I think the game's glitched. Why is he... Oh, there we go. Okay, we really could have done with the mechanics book, but this is going to have to make do for now. So we're just going to keep training up on our uh, cars that we've got. Starting to think that we might have to go back to the houses from before and find our old Land Rover. Uh, are there any parts that we can find to try and repair our truck? Oh, there are some uh, seeds and things here. I think we could maybe start on a farm. Oh, there is a welder mask here. We can use that. Cool. We're looking pretty badass now. Right, let's just take absolutely everything out the back of the truck. We need to go back and find a Land Rover. All right, let's go and find our old Land Rover. But this is a little bit low on fuel, so we will need to get that sorted. Let's see if we can take some fuel from these, uh, these other cars. Okay, equip this primary and see if we can take fuel with it. I don't really know how the jerry cans work. I'm guessing we can't siphon fuel with it which is a little bit annoying. Okay, it is starting to look like we can't siphon fuel with this. Right, let's take... Uh, oh, I think we need the smaller axe if we're gonna do this. Yeah, hand axe, equip primary. Right, I think we're just gonna go and cut down some trees just to try and get our axe skill up. Okay, we're already up to axe level two. Oh, okay, we've broken our axe. Okay, we're right on the verge of level uh, two sprinting, so let's just practice that for a little bit. 
We're fast as fuck, boy. We're level two sprinting. Right, we're just going to stick to doing some exercise for the rest of the day. Now, as we're starting to get a little bit tired, I think I'm going to try and see if I could plant these seeds to start our farm. Now, I don't have anything to dig with. Hopefully, I can just do it with my hands. Right, let's take all of these. We'll try and dig a furrow with our hands. Okay, right. What are we going to plant first? Now, I'm a big strawberry fan, so we're going to maybe plant these first. And there we go, we've got a nice little farm going. I am going to fill up a watering can that we found and water them as well. Ooh, DIY crafting for idiots. I'm an idiot, I'll take that. There we go, we're going to put one of our bins on the inside of the house. Just so we can actually start storing our empty cans in there. Right, let's leave our watering can outside. Ooh, we have found a worm from digging outside. Let's just uh, eat that for dinner. Right, I think we ought to go and collect some wood so we can... Uh, put some rain collectors on the side of the house. Right, let's take some time to saw the logs outside. Right, so we will work on some rain collectors, we just need more um, garbage bags. Right, let's head upstairs. We're gonna read the magazine that we found in the trash and get to bed. Right, let's get ourselves to bed. Let's just check up on our splint this morning, see how we're looking. God, it's still not... Oh, God, I don't know what I'm expecting. It's not going to heal within a couple of days, but, you know. Oh, no, I think we're out of water. Right, we need to go and get some um, garbage bags. Right, we're going to try... This could be a big risk, but we're going to try and push slightly into the neighbourhood. Right, let's test our strength against these local zombies. Shit. Okay, right, let's see if we can get in this truck. Empty gas can, yes, okay. Oh my god, there's a key. Oh my god, we've got an upgrade. Hell yeah. Oh, we are overly encumbered. I feel like this is going to be a bad move. Right, empty gas can. Let's just lob this in the back. We don't need it for now. Ooh, some good FUD. Wasteland Warrior magazine. Right, you know what? We are just going to loot some of these nearby houses whilst we're here. Oh, we have found a DVD. Now, we are going to need these now. The uh, TV's uh, going to be showing no more new channels. Now, I don't want to push our luck. So, after looting a couple of houses, I think we are going to push... Oh, wait, no, we need bin bags. Now, we do need bin bags, but I think for now, we are just going to push back. I don't really want to risk taking on too many zombies whilst we're still injured. All right, let's eat some crisps, and then we're going to add our new canned goods to our collection. All right, let's read all of these uh, magazines. All right, so... Naturally, I think we should try and do some burpees with our broken arm. <laughs> I'm hoping this doesn't uh, affect our arm too badly. Right, the burpees didn't hurt our arm, so we're going to do some push-ups now as well. Right, it's only nine o'clock, but it is time that we get ourselves off to bed. We are officially two weeks into this adventure. Now, we are still losing weight, so uh, there's some lard here. That should help us gain weight. Hi, everyone. Sorry for the poor lighting. I've just been sat down editing this video, and unfortunately, that's where this video ends. I recorded another four hours of footage and OBS decided to freeze the image right at the beginning of the recording, but record the audio only. So I can insert a snippet of what happened five days later with the character right here. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, I can't believe it. No! Oh. And as you can tell by that reaction, we died. Um, we made it to, I believe it was, it was either day 19 or day 20. There's only a few more days of the, of the adventure. Um, so yeah, we made it to day 19 or 20 in the end. And unfortunately, uh, error in judgment on my behalf, we ended up dying. Now, I contemplated completely deleting this recording and getting rid of it. However, I've edited, edited down something like seven, eight hours of footage just to get this section of the video done. Um, I didn't really want to give up on the video and I don't really have the time to start all over again with another long attempt at a run. I wanted to get a video out so people had something to watch and, you know, again, my apologies. If you guys are feeling gutted for not seeing the ending result for this challenge, trust me, I am so gutted because I have spent so much time trying to make this uh, video uh, to the best that I could and unfortunately it hasn't worked out. So. We made it another four or five days, we found the survivor house, we pushed more into the centre of Louisville, killed a lot more zombies, it was finally picking up and getting more entertaining, and unfortunately that's 
uh, yeah, it didn't last too much longer. So apologies again to everyone who's made it to the end of the video. But I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, to all the new subscribers that have joined, you know, it's an absolute pleasure with some of the nice comments I've been getting. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. It's a lot of work to get these videos out, so I may not be able to stick to the weekly plan like I originally wanted to do with these videos, but I'm trying my best currently. Um, I've tried to get a few other videos made as well, however, it's not just this video that's had technical problems. I've lost a fair few videos recently, so bear with me whilst I get a few things sorted out. But in the meantime, I hope you all have a great new year. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, whatever um, I can get, really. It's just thank you for watching. Sorry again for how this has turned out. Um, but I appreciate you making this final video. Take care, everyone.